How long are you planning to ignore me? I'm just following your lead. What lead is that? You know what? what? You ignored my feelings and our sons. So how does it feel, Michael? Having somebody that you love just act like you don't matter. Yeah, Michael, just because she cheated on you, that's no reason for you to treat her. That's a clip from the number one daytime drama for the past 25 years, The Young and the Restless, which airs, by the way, on our sister station, CBS, every weekday at 12.30 p.m., but you don't have to wait that long. Here to talk about the show and an honor she's receiving today is the Emmy award-winning actress, Tracy Bregman. Hello. Oh, Hi, <laughs> <laughs> this is so. I watch your show every day. You do. I do the noon show yeah. with Chris and Mary, and then I have to see what trouble your kid, boy, that son of yours. I know. He is a headache, and then that <laughs> husband of yours. Sometimes I love him, sometimes I hate him. I know, so, but that's the fun of it, right? And you, too. 41 years on the air. Why do you think people still love the young and the rest? Talking things through. Because we're this family. Is how you're going to we the come into everybody's right? life. Five days a week, you when you're feeding the baby, when you're at work, when you are doing your life. And so we are family, and I think people are growing up with us. No matter how old you are, you're growing up with us. Now, correct me with, uh, if I'm wrong on any of my stats. You joined okay. the show in 1983? I did. Playing these When same... I was a fetus. Now, were yes. you, did, did you play different characters or just no. the same character? Lauren Fenmore. Weren't you also Lauren on Bold and the Beautiful? I was. So for about three years, I did both shows because the, there's the crossover. Over. My right. character owns the department store, and there's Forrest of Creations on the Bold and the Beautiful. So I was able to play the same character on the crossover. And then I went to Bold and Beautiful exclusively for four years and then came back to Weinart. Which, I mean, and do you just kind of do what they tell you, or what, what, how do they make those decisions? Well, I think it's storyline predicated, and Bill Bell, when he was alive, at that time was thinking about uh, taking Bold and Beautiful to an hour and said, I want to cross you over oh, yeah. permanently. You know, as permanent as permanent is in soap operas. <laughs> it well, was four years. Before we, uh, before we go on, what, is, what do you think the future of soap operas is going to be? Well, you have us 41 years on the air, 25 years at number one, and we just got to pick up for three years. Oh, good. So we are all good. thrilled and excited. We have a fabulous head of daytime, Angelica McDaniel, who has a tremendous passion for daytime and our show. So we're very, very hopeful. Good. I mean, it was hard losing all the other daytime shows, yeah. let me tell you, it, it hit us all deeply. Well, you, you know, they used to shoot The Guiding Light right across the right. hall and right next door. And these were our friends here at the Broadcast yes, Center. Yes, and phenomenal shows. Great shows. Yes. So, uh, so at least three more years, so good for you. Yes. T uh, tell us what you're uh, doing in town today, though. I don't want because I could talk forever about the, <laughs> and the rest of this, but I want to make sure we talk about your event, right. too. Well, today at noon at Pier 78, uh, Gray Line Tours is dedicating a bus to me. You know, it's not every day you get a bus. Wow. <laughs> so I'm one of Donald Trump, Joan Rivers, Rachel Ray, LL Cool J, uh, Susan Lucci, so I'm the second one in daytime to get one. <laughs> and my picture is going to be on the front, and a bunch of my friends are coming out, and hopefully people who watch the show will come out and uh, take a ride with us. When they get to meet you. Yeah, and they get to meet me. Do you have to actually hit the bus with champagne, or how does this all go down? I am not sure, but <laughs> I do know that I'm taking a, a bus ride around the city with everybody, and I'm very excited about it. How do you sustain your character on the show? How, when, when do you get the script for what you're going to do that day? I get it about a week prior, a week, a week but prior. you have to be very careful because if you have to read ahead, but you don't want to know too much because of what you're doing. You don't want what you know is coming up to influence what you're doing that day. Um, th th that, that whole arc where you were cheating with Rocco or whatever his name was, it, what was going on in your head? You went nuts on the show. Carmine. Carmine. Hey, Michael made me do it. He wasn't Gee. backing our son. Yes, but there's Come so on. many love scenes. When you get the... Hey, a girl's got to make a living. Do you, uh, do you, guys, what's it like when you guys do a love scene on that show? Are they like 30 uh, texts yeah, just standing around? Yeah, not sexy at all. Really? It, it has blocking and, uh, Marco, who who play Carmine's very sweet, but you know, when it came to love scenes, could not hit a mark. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, I'll do it here. Roll here. Yeah. I'll pull this up. Wow. You know, it's very funny. Yeah, make sure you keep that covered. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What other projects do you have coming up? Well, I have my jewelry line, the Tracy Bregman Collection, that I've been selling on the shopping channel in Canada for a while. And I'm also the conscious living editor for a magazine called 90265, the Malibu magazine. Wow, you are busy, busy. Let I love it. I, are you pregnant? Can you tell me? Not in real life. Hello. 
uh, potentially on the show. All right. Where's the bus <laughs> going to be again today? It's going to be Pier 78 at noon, Ride of Fame. What a treat to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you so Tracy nice Bregman. You. Thanks for joining us on the couch. And by the way, you can watch Tracy on The Young and the Restless every weekday at 12.30 p.m. on CBS.